This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion G4 laptop with a cracked screen that will show you how to replace. Uh, this type of laptop came out in early 2011. It's a nice laptop with a 14 inch LED screen. So let's fix the screen and get it back to its owner. So the tools we're going to need today are an exacto knife with a pointed blade. A pair of metal tweezers, some sort of prying tool. This is a custom plastic tool, but you can use a guitar pick or a or a glass or or a metal or a plastic kitchen spreading knife will do the job just as well. And also an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. Okay, before we do anything, and this is especially important with LED screens, is to take out the battery. So we flip the laptop over, slide the lever, lift the battery up, and put it on the side. So in order to get to the screen, we have to take this plastic bezel off of the front, also known as the plastic frame. And in this case, for the case of G4, it's secured with two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind some plastic covers. So the first order of business is to use our X-Acto knife and remove the plastic covers. Make sure it doesn't get away from you. And what I like to do is stick them on the side so you don't lose them. And do the same thing on this side. Take them off and stick them on the side. Now, once you do that, there's two screws that you see. And we're going to remove the two screws. So let's zoom in. There's one screw. Put it on the side and keep each separate set of screws in separate piles. That way it's easier to know where it goes, what goes where when you put the laptop back together. It's just as important to put it together as to take it apart. Okay, so here's the two screws. Now the next part of the job, it's probably the most difficult, is we want to remove the plastic bezel. And what I like to do is reach in on the screen side and use my fingertips and gently start lifting it up. Now when you hear snapping signs, sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off and then go on the bottom. Use the same procedure. And there's one trick once you loosen everything up, there's some more snapped enclosure snaps here. So this is where the prying tool comes in. So you, there's a seam here, and you run the prying tool along the seam to separate the cover. Let's zoom in and see what it looks like separated. So you can see it, it's separated right here. Make sure it's separated all the way along the line. And then put the laptop back over and then the plastic cover comes off. So we put the plastic cover on the side and we'll see what it takes to take the screen apart. So usually with these types of laptops there's two metal brackets where the screen is attached to on the sides with screws. Sometimes it's easy to get to the screws, sometimes it's not. In this case, it's, we can almost get to the bottom screw if we force the back lid a little bit, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to remove the top screws so we can tilt the screen forward a little bit so it's easier to get to the bottom screws, like so. So this is a trick. We remove these screws, put them in a separate pile, and now we can tilt the screen forward a little bit, and now we can get to the bottom screw. Like so. Still a bit tight, but we can do it. So we'll put these screws once again 
in a separate pile, like so, and go on the other side. This one is a little bit harder. You can still do it. Almost there. Okay, so the screw is out and we put it on the side and do the same thing for this screw. Now if it's too tight, there's another trick you can do to have the screen tilt forward a little bit. And what you do is you loosen up these bottom screws. So let's zoom in. Loosen up these bottom screws. Not remove them, but loosen them up. And this way you can can have more access to it like so. But the thing to remember is you gotta tighten them before you put the laptop back together because otherwise you're gonna have a loose screen assembly. Now the other thing that I should have mentioned earlier is when you're doing this job make sure the tilt screen assembly is tilted backward because once the screws are out you don't want the screen just falling forward on you so you want to fall back backward. So the screws are out and next thing I'm going to do is gently tilt the screen forward and see what's going on here. Sometimes the video video cable that goes to the webcam has a piece of that attaches to the back of the screen but in this case it doesn't so that's good news we don't have to worry about that. And uh, this is a LED screen, and LED screens have only one connector that we have to loosen. And here it is, and it's usually held by some tape. So what we can use our exacto knife, start lifting up, and get the tape going, and then use our fingertips to lift up the tape. And oftentimes there's adhesive on the back, but not in this case. So what we do is just pull the connector back and it's out. All right, so the screen is out. Let's take a look at the screen. It's a 14.0 LED screen, white screen. Uh, as of mid-2011, this type of screen is in very common use. I'm sure you should should not have any problems finding it. And the uh, thing to know about it is the connector is on the bottom left, uh, as in most cases it is. Some earlier HP laptops had the connector bottom right, but for the G4 you don't have to worry. It's always going to be on the bottom left. The other thing to know about this screen is it has a glossy finish. Most screens are, and most vendors will tell you if it's a glossy finish or not. And let's take a look at the part number. Let's get a good focus. So what you need to know is LP140WH1. LP140WH1. So you can find this screen on Google. You can find it on eBay. Or if you want, you can buy it directly from us. Just go to screensurgeons.com and click on Buy a Screen and you can buy it online and directly from us. Okay, and that's it. So when you're ready to put it back in, put the connector in, make sure the adhesive tape is back on, put the screen back in, and put all the screws in in reverse order, and your laptop should be good to go. And that's it. My name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.